you say you finished work for the summer, you mean finished, finished? Oh, well, I have some prep to do over the holidays for September, but other than that, yes. My exams are over, and with the attends on work experience, Sally said I could clock off early. In that case, maybe you could give me some one-to-one -one tuition. <laughs> what subject? Biology. Maxine's gutted about losing that wedding venue. Well, it was a pretty big oversight not paying the deposit, Damon. Well, it was an honest mistake. I mean, I thought she paid for it. Maybe it's time to look for another venue. She doesn't want another venue. She's dead excited about seeing that hotel tomorrow. Well, when you two come up with a plan, I will be at the hut celebrating the end of term. Rod, I need to pull this out of the bag for Maxine. What am I going to do? We give you Damon and Maxine's wedding boat. Are they our bed sheets? Uh, just to give you a taster of what we can do. <laughs> Wash them. I know it's not a five-star hotel, but opening this place with Brody was a dream come true for us. Marrying you here, with the icing on the cake. At the love boat. And with the money we saved, we can even afford the ice sculpture of the kissing swans. We just need to OK everything first with the council. That's not going to work. What, they're going to object to some kissing swans? No, you won't get the licence in time. Leela needed one when she got married in the hutch, and it took ages. Right. So we wait. We might not have time to wait. This wedding's never going to happen. How come all the money's in there? I thought you were using it to pay the medical bills. I, um... I wasn't sure whether to tell you or not. Tell me what? The private hospital. They were so baffled by my case that they've offered to see me for free. Free? Well, they said that, it, you know, rare cases like this is really good training for the young doctors, and that's why I didn't want to tell you, because I didn't want you to freak out thinking that I wasn't being given the right care. Babe, I just want to make you happy. I am happy. Well, I was. With all this health stuff going on, the wedding was the one thing that I felt in control of. I'd, I just wanted it to be perfect. Hey. No. It's my fault. I, I shouldn't have got my hopes up. It was a pipe dream. Maybe we can have our fairy tale wedding in another life. 